Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins, Zen Aga. Peter Channel News, afternoon report at 12.30. Tucks away at 12.30 is in Hong Kong, where police are in a tense standoff with tens of thousands of pro democracy student demonstrators recently joined by the like minded Occupy Central Movement, which has announced the formal start of a campaign of civil disobedience. Rescue efforts on Mount Attack will resume later this morning as hopes diminish after that survivors will be found near the peak after Japan's second ice volcano erupted two days ago, the nation's second natural disaster in a month. In New York, as Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi meets the top government officials and business leaders in the U.S., about half a dozen large American corporations are pitching for deals worth 3 to $5 billion in defense and aerospace sectors. Team Europe's Jamie Donaldson, the right, raises the arms of celebration after winning his match against the American player King and Brandon retained the Ryder Cup for Europe. That's Lav Nunes, so you probably have questions about how it went. Where a police officer was injured in late night shooting Saturday in the St. Louis suburb of Ferguson, Missouri. KTVI reports that the shooting occurred at the Ferguson Community Center. U.S. led closure airstrikes against ISIL hit residential areas in Aleppo. Many billions are damaged following the American led closure of airstrikes. Sage against the headquarters of Al Nurses Fight Snappers in a residential area of Al Monsan District. Conservative Chairman Grant Shapps has accused Mark Wickles of betrayal as defection from the stories of the UK IP. Mr. Shapps told the party conference in Birmingham, Your trust is man of beers. In Miami, 15 people aged 11 to 25 were hurt when a shooting at a Miami nightclub early on Sunday. A police spokeswoman said it, then it was unclear. Who was responsible? The Secret Service is in trouble for a recent White House fence jumper. More trouble in the White House should in post reports of 2011 incident when shots hit the presidential family residence. Authorities in a small Utah community are trying to determine what caused the deaths of a family of five who were found in an apartment on Saturday night. The case of Alton Nolan, the suspect in Oklahoma, behaved and emerges as terrorists become more adept at disseminating pepper imagery, stroke American fears. Wall Street Apple experienced a major trip in the stock market ever since the month of July. The sale began very well early in the day in the noon. All the 30 big companies in the Dow Jones and Standard average, and then 10 in the Standard & Poor's 500. Senator Elizabeth Warren wants Congress to look at the obligations of New York Federal Reserve, block one of its own from criticizing global and stocks. As per the official report, the latest Apple iPhone range, which is coming in an encryption technology is geared up to create numerous problems for the government and law enforcement agencies to access this information. Why the 2015 Ford Mustang Geek Boost is a big fat faker? There's nothing worse than falling in love with a something only to find out that it has been lying to you all along. Instead of dictating what a smartphone shall be, Apple is easing up and offering an iPhone browser. Variety of choices. Hundreds gathered for an immersion of star studded memorial for Robert Williams on Sunday, day six weeks after Bluff comedian took his own life. Box office equalizer debut to a smashing $35 million. The ongoing drama of Jay-Z and Beyonce somehow managed to upstage a festival of global importance on Saturday at the Global Citizen Festival on Senate Central Park's Great Lawn before 60,000 New Yorkers headliners Jay brought out his wife. As Saturday Night Live began its 40th season last night on NBC and SNL revives weekend update and start celebrating four decades. A significant fraction of water molecules found in this planet are older than Earth, the system, and the solar system even the sun scientists have said. NASA's Curiosity rover has just drilled in its first hole in the foothills of Mach the three mile high, five kilometer high, Madden and Mars, and the primary destination for the six wheeled machine, two and a half million dollar mission. In Madrid, a new breast cancer drug from Rocha showed unprecedented benefits that extended lives on a clinical trial. An expert surge is widespread use of women and with an aggressive form of the disease. The amazing discovery announced by Pfizer this week is a drug for lung cancer. Sucra has successfully shrunk cancerous tumors in the patient with a rare genetic mutation. President Obama's plan to expand health comes to millions of Americans under the poverty line remain highly contentious as red states are found reluctant to take their health program with a required zeal and enthusiasm. Take a look at New England and Alerts in Beverly, Massachusetts. Massachusetts license plate number 34BY85 White 2000 GMC Serial Pickup Truck wanted and connected with Fe Highway Ashton Road. If seen, please contact Beverly Place. Take a look at sports news. Here, nine years ago, he signed a 10 year contract with Notre Dame that he's still being paid on. His record of time, five on Sunday, he was fired at Kansas after winning one Big 12 game in less than two and a half seasons. 
In Houston, Houston Texans running back Aaron Foster was limited in practice last week with a hamstring injury as active against the Buffalo Bills on Sunday. We never got to know Derek Jeter's Zinnemore's feelings, but we know his pride, and that is why it's hard not to imagine as he slapped that game with a base hit to the right field in his final Yankee Stadium in the 39 was in his mind. One is a win, not a win. For the sake round, for a road victory at the North Carolina State, but lost ground on this. Enough bounce to be overtaken by Alabama and the new MA Coaches Bowl. The Seattle Mariners ended the final day regular season trail in the by one game for the second American League wild card spot. Peter Channel News Times 12:35 here, and take a look at traffic situation here on this Sunday afternoon here, and it shows Route 6 and the westbound side slow from Center Stand Sagamore Bridge, Route 3 northbound slow from Sagamore down to South Plymouth, Route 3 north slow from Norway all the way down to Main Street, doing it in the next on Route. Three on the northbound side near Derby Street in Hingham here, so trust us to find that area here. And Route 3 North Slope from Union Street to the split here. Route 93 Southeast Expressway Slope from the split all the way down for downtown Boston here on the pike here. Route 1 Northbound side Little Slope from River all the way down to Saugus. Route 120 on the northbound side Slope from 95 to Peabody down to Route 114 in Peabody. Route 120 on the northbound side Slope from Route 38 in Woburn all the way down to 93 in Brandy. Route 93 on the northbound side, slow from storming down to 128 and ready near. 39395 on Mall 5 from 128 to the New Hampshire border. Route 93 southbound up in Manchester, New Hampshire. A little slow from 293 in Bedford down through Manchester, New Hampshire. Here due to busier than normal traffic routes here. And 495 on the southbound side, slow from Bolton down to 290 in Marlborough here. Mass Pack, a little slow on the eastbound side near Route 9 in Framingham, doing the next to the Mass Pack near Route 9 in Framingham here. And Mass Park on the westbound side, slow from Millbury on down for A4 in Sturbridge here. And Route 4 is backed up on the southbound side from Exeter Dam to near Route 130 in Newport here. And traffic is on the Route 28 on the northbound side, it's backed up from Bourne away to down to the Bourne Rotary at Route Feeder Road to Route 28 is a little slow on the westbound side here. Okay, Peter Chill News Times now, 1237, time now for a little weather for it here this afternoon. Sun's skies are high about 86 degrees. It's up one about 7 miles per hour. Tonight, patch about after 3 a.m. was. Most of the first got low 56 degrees. It's up one about 5 miles per hour. Coming common in the evening. For Monday. For Monday. Patch about before 8 a.m. was. Part of the sun's skies are high about 78 degrees. And calmly becoming in the northeast about 5 miles per hour in the afternoon. Monday night, isolated shots before 11 p.m. Then chance of drizzle after 11 p.m. Patch back after 4 a.m. Watts. Most of the costs got low 55 degrees east, one about 7 to 13 miles per hour, with gusts as high as 23 miles per hour, chance of pace of 20 percent. For Tuesday, chance of drizzle before 1 p.m. Then a slight chance of showers after 1 p.m. Patch back before 8 a.m. Watts. Most of the costs got with under 65 degrees, the north face one about 7 miles per hour, chance of pace of 20 percent. Tuesday night, slight chance of showers before 11 p.m. Then a chance of drizzle after 11 p.m. Patch back between midnight and 1 a.m. Then patch back up to 3 a.m. watts. Most of the class got low 54 degrees and chest pace was 20%. Wednesday, chest of drizzle before 10 a.m. Patch back before 9 a.m. watts. Most of the class got under 66 degrees. Wednesday night, patch back after 3 a.m. Watts. Most of the class got low 51 degrees. Thursday, patch back before 9 a.m. watts. Patch the sense count under 65 degrees. Friday night, most of the class got low 53 degrees. Friday, patch the sense count under 66 degrees. Friday night, most of the class got low 53 degrees. But Saturday, most of the class got higher about 770 degrees. Better is weather to play today. Still a Sunday attack. Not in temperature, 81 degrees at 12.38. That's going to be it for the Peter Channel News Afternoon Report on this September 28th, 2014, on Sunday afternoon. I'm Peter J. Wissy. Well, good day with a good buzz. I'll see you for a full report of news weather at 6 o'clock. And I'll have sports roundup right after the Red Sox Yankees game at Family Park. I'm going to cover Major League Baseball and the football scores. Have a good day.